Hello and welcome to our heritage. My name is Shaquille Salam and uh, we are here in Rosendale today talking to Mr. Aslam Mia who was probably the first person who came from Bangladesh in this town and uh, which is known as East Pakistan at that time. We are here with uh, uh, Mr. Mia talking to him about his journey to UK and his success and struggle. So Mr. Mia, welcome to the program. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? I'm fine. Right, Mr. Mia, let's talk about your childhood. Tell me a bit about the place you were born and which year were you born? Well, uh, I'm born 1936. Yeah. Uh, 12th of July. In a small village called Moishashi. M O I S H A S H double E Moishashi. Okay. Uh, situated right uh, about uh, twenty miles south of Silet District. My district called Silet. Silet District. Uh, I born there. Then there was a village school called Moishashi. Okay, it was local village? Local, yeah. Local school. In, so it was a primary school? Yeah, it is primary school. Okay, so did you have to walk to school? Yes. As you know, Bangladesh is a, a, a waterland country, right? So there was a lot of water? All the time, and small river, big river to cross. So it was a very struggling uh, time for me then to go to school. So do you have to swim to go to school? Yes, yes. And then my father made a small boat for me about uh, eight years long, sorry, four years long to cross the river. The river. Yeah, right. And uh, I remember my older brother took me to that school first time uh, and he introduced to a teacher called Aradon. Uh, he is a Hindu teacher actually. Okay. Uh, and he was very kind-hearted. He tried to help me much. And after he's encouraged, I settled. Yeah. There. Were you were you a good boy? Were you good at reading and writing and stuff? Yeah, I was. I was very happy, apart from something to tell you now. I had a friend called Shamsu. Okay. Uh he used to go with me and few months later we were just crossing a small bridge over the river, right? And that bridge was made by bamboo. And about to me, by an hour, what I understood, now understand now, about two years below, he dropped from the bridge and he stayed to a dead. All oh, right, so he's drowned in the in the river. No, it was dry. He didn't drown. Oh, it was dry. Dry. Then. He just fall, healthy boy like me then, and he just gone. And it must be very upsetting for you to see. I'm that. still. I mentioned in my book already. I'm still upsetting. Okay. Mm. Apart from that, during my school time, there wasn't any problem. Problem. And uh, so when you went to primary school, then you went to secondary school? No, high school. High school, they call yeah. it, yes. It's called Hasim Ali High School. And it was away from your village or was it in Yes, yes. There is a, a lot to tell you now. Uh, you know, those days, there wasn't many high school, but that high school was about four miles away of me. Okay. Right. And winter time is very good walking, right? Uh, 
There's a big river called Kushiara. There's a ferry. You can cross, cross the river, yes. Yeah. But summertime, no ferry, no nothing. A uh, person like me there, you know, in this country, people hate hiking uh, or lift. Hitchhiking, yeah. Yes. Getting a lift, yeah. Yeah. I have to do that. Uh, and I feel very humble to people who are passing uh, me. So some are very kind, like here, give me lift. Yeah. Some signal. Yeah. That. So sometimes I have to swim about, I'll tell you now, uh, uh, about, about five or six small rivers to cross, holding my book. On, on one hand and uh, drive with other hand like this to go to school. And that's every day in summer. Summer, yeah, yeah, summer. Not only that, sometimes when I'm swimming and heavy wind come, take my books away. Yeah, right. So after a few times that happened, my mother was very upset. Mm -hmm. She wanted to stop. But I was a good swimmer. Well, by the way, in our country, especially village people, taught their children when age 11, 12 months, one year old, two year old, how to swim. Like here, yeah. you got lollipop man, uh, yeah. for children, help or crossroad. Over there, our every children have to learn, otherwise, doubt. So swimming is part of yes. everyday life there? Yeah, for the village people. So you stayed next to school? Yes. And you finished your Education. schooling? Yeah. So after the schooling, what did you do? Well, then uh, I, uh, I wasn't very brilliant uh, or scholarship, right? Then I realized uh, I won't be successful if I go for higher education. So I, I took a training for surveyor. Do you know what surveyor mean? Yeah. Surveyor training, right? So after, after the training, right, I become a surveyor instructor in Ramsundar High School, which in Vishwanath. That about, uh, uh, about uh, if you go by train and bus, then could be about, uh, 30, 31 miles away, but if you walk, then could be about 20 miles, you know, like this. Mm -hmm. So I got a job there. Uh, while I'm working, uh, we see it's our national paper, then called Ajad newspaper, which means independence. Yes, uh, in Ajad newspaper. Uh, that advertise that uh, if you w wish to go to Britain, you can apply uh, uh, to British High Commissioner, right? And uh, then they will probably consider your application, right? Okay. So again, I don't know English. So again, I have to find someone, my local, and gentleman call. Uh, Muhammad Ali Choudhury, he lived in village, his village called Kutupur and uh, well obviously we uh, always call senior people uncle. Okay. So I said I want to him, he lived about three miles away of me so I, I know he knows good English. So I want to him and say uncle uh, if you don't mind uh, can you write an application for me some so place. He said, all right, uh, I'll do it. So he did for me, and then I made a lot of copies, and I apply within my families 11, for 11 person. So you applied, and the idea was for you to come to England. Yeah. How many did you know about England at that time when you uh -huh. were applying for it? Well, don't know much, but in the paper they said there is a job opportunity, mm -hmm. right? 
Secondly, I know they are uh, British people are civilized people, and they ask to go uh, for job employment, right? So, and also benefit they mention until you get a job, you'll get benefit. Okay. Right. So those things encourage uh, you to come to yeah. Yeah. So how did you make arrangement then? Did you apply for it? Did you, were you yes. successful? Yes. Then. I apply with the, within my family for 11 persons and I asked all the village people to do and they thought it's a joke. They didn't listen to you? No, they didn't believe this. I said, give me atana. Do you know what atana means? It's uh, like uh, 50 pence. No. Oh, no. You know, ta rupee. Yeah. Half of rupee. Half of rupee. Yeah. Okay. Uh, atana. For stamp. And they thought, is joke. How can you go to England with Atana, right? But that's not for the stamp, right? Like. Okay. So I did uh, for my within my family for eleven, and we all success and we come here. Right. Let's talk about then when you told your mom or your family that yeah. you're going to England and you're yeah. successful. Were they pleased about you? Or no, you? my mother didn't let me come. She didn't want you to come. No, to England. no. She said, uh, ask me why you want to go. I said, look, if I go to England, the way we are uh, learning or hearing, if I work there two years, three years, then I get a lot of money and come back and do business my own, yeah. rather working in the farm. Then she said, she will sell some land for me to get business uh, 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 there then, right? And I said, no, people may think we are poor. So why should he say learn uh, to find the money for me to get business where I can earn money myself? This sort of thing I try to tell her, convince her. Uh, but sh she wasn't very happy. Then I uh, beg, put my hand on her leg, her feet, yeah. begging her. You know, begging, begging, yeah. Yeah, begging her. And she just start crying, but I realized I made it right. So then she said, all right, well, oh, take some money, which she gave me my train fare. And beside train fare, train fare she gave me a few rupee okay. to we, we, buy we, yeah. Yeah, yeah. from Dhaka. So you bought the suitcase? Yeah, yeah, and them books as well, the money she gave me, right? So I obtained the visa from British High Commission in Dhaka, then came back and uh, then I uh, booked my flight. Okay, so tell me a bit, how did you book the flight? Which flight did yeah. you come? Only PIA was our national airline then. That's Pakistan's Pakistani international. Local, yeah. Yeah. So I booked by that airline, right? And then I flew from Silet to Dhaka, Dhaka to Karachi, Karachi to Frankfurt, Frankfurt to London Heathrow. Tell me London Heathrow, when you arrived at Heathrow Airport. I shocked. It was a shock again? Yes, it's something out of blue. So many lights, so many different people, and I am by self, I don't know what to do now. Because the guide I got from Bangladesh, uh, the, which uh, to re go to East London somewhere, I forget the street name now, okay. Olgate, Olgate. Yeah. But soon I reach Heathrow Airport, I saw how I'm, how I'm going to go to East Ol London. East London. First of all, I have no money. Why did you want to go to East London? What was the... Yeah, because when I work in Bishanath, Someone from that area arranged for me to meet their friend, right, in East London. Is that the Brick Lane area which is Brick very Lane, famous yes. now? Yes, yes, yes. 
by the uh, central street somewhere, at Rampart yeah. Street, I don't know. Okay. Mm. Did you right. stay in East London? No, or well, how did you get yes, into... That's I'm coming to you, right? All right, okay. So, then, I had a good shower, everything fresh, and I, he kept me a few days. I was supposed to be bred for to see my lodging master, right? Okay. From Vishana. Right. So, he then uh, provided fear everything to Bradford. Did you come by train or? Yeah, by train. train. Yeah. Came to Bradford, then there wasn't very good for job a situation, right? So I went to Halifax. Still didn't get any job there. Then someone contact from Halifax to Rottenstall. He came for some business, right? And landlord who lived 94 Berry Road, he said, uh, we have a vacancy in David White if he want to. So he straight here got me here. And there was second week of August, 1963. I got the job. In? David Whitehead, Russian soul, David Whitehead. Is that what is the David Whitehead? Is that name of the company? Textile. Cotton mill, yeah, cotton, cotton mill. Cotton mill, sorry, okay. cotton, cotton mill, yeah. Now, it's very dirty job. You didn't like it? No, it's not because go through nose, ear, every uh, dirty type. And another thing is no shower facility, no bath or anything in the house. Okay. Oh, is, should I say that now, that part, the way we had in the house? It's toilet quite far away. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's shocking because we used to swim three or four times a day in Bangladesh. And here, there's no water to wash our body. Do you find it very difficult? That's, it's terrible, right? Even even the night time, uh, if you want to go off for personal reason, sometimes snow and there's snow as well, and uh, scaring. No light in the toilet outside. You put candle. Uh, uh, candle is always there, but you take torch light. Torch light. Yeah, and then also matches to lead. You know, like this was terrible. And first of all, got serious problem with sleep. Secondly, don't like the job, what to do now? So luckily, uh, oh sorry, another thing, what I did, I found myself that if I'm to live in this country, work in this country, then I have to learn English. Okay. Now again, I don't know how to ask, who to ask. So. I always met a lady called Lillian, she lived in Holkar, and 10 to 6, we always meet across the road, go to work together. So one day, I don't know how to ask, uh, do you know any school here or anything, I just said uh, to Lillian, his school, and she realized what I mean. So she gave the name of the school and directed me by finger to go that way, which I did. So, I went there, a lady came out, and she probably asked, what do you want something like this? I just say English. I just say English. Okay. So, she bit pause, and then she gone back. A few seconds later, a gentleman came out. Probably he asked me a question, what do you want? What do you want you and know? you have no idea what they're talking about? No. Oh, still I say English. That's the word I say, English. He paused for a while, and then he said suddenly, something probably he said, do you work? So work, I can't get work. I straight said, David Whitehead. So, David Whitehead, 6 to 2, 2 to 10. I, I told him straight. That's your shift. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. Right. So, few minutes later, he told me like this, I mean, go. So,
swab there as the swab there didn't get. Yeah. Weeks later, I got a letter of him saying to start Sunday 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock. The class available for me. Then I had a few friends. I told them as well. So we weren't there all. We were, all weren't there, right? But friends there didn't last long. But I still... But you carried on because you really wanted to yeah, learn yeah. English. Uh, yeah. yeah. And my teacher called Mr. Arthur Natherwood. I know later on, he was a primary school teacher, St. Mary Institute. I thought he's from older grade, but he's not. So, Mr. Netherwood did his best, I praise for him. And uh, also, he told me to go to library, show me library. And the way he said to me, whether you understand or not, read, read, read. That was his message. His, yeah, message. Which I did. Then, I make very good friend with the staff in library. I, and I think I'm the first person who was the member of that library in 1963. I'm the first person to go there. Nobody used to go there. I didn't see anybody. So, uh, I was getting small books, reading, reading, whether I understand or not. Right. Then, uh, I left this job, start work, start engineering, has okay. Lindon. Has Lindon, all right. Mm. That job was very good, but again, uh, I got a big problem to get the job. Uh, you know, when I went there, the foreman gave me, uh, you know, mathematics, right? Fraction thing like this, you know what I mean? I did. I know I did because I, I, I was good at math, you know. I don't understand algebra much, but arithmetic, I was okay, geometry, all right. All right. But algebra is worse. I know I did right, but he just confused 